<laughs> Suddenly, the shaking stops. The sky stays dark, though the sun seems to have gotten closer. They're demons! They're not answering their summons! Becca screams, beginning to freak out. Oh no, what's going on? What happens now? You say, Now this! You use the fire gem to shoot a fireball at Becca. It's a direct hit, but Becca isn't burned. What? How did you do that? Your answer is to shoot another fireball, which hits her in the head and explodes. No! Becca utters, collapsing to the ground. You steal the bag of gems while Becca is stunned. You grab the bag and begin running. You can hear the demons coming. Wait! Come back! Becca shouts, getting up and giving chase. You say, Without these gems, the demons won't be able to invade the Mushroom Kingdom. Let's get out of here quick! You continue to run away from Becca, who is giving pursuit. I'm sorry, but you'll never take away my princess! She shouts, running. You give her a few more seconds, then turn around and shoot a fireball directly in her face. She screams and falls to the ground. You're... dead! You keep running, with Becca giving chase again. You think you've won, don't you? You think you can just run away from me? She screams. You run to the cave containing the portal to the human world. You begin running even faster until you're in the cave. You slow down, panting. Hurry up! Inside the cave! Wario yells. Wario and Moira enter the cave behind you, followed by a fourth member. You say, Hurry up, Luigi and Toad! Into the portal! Luigi and Toad hurry up and enter the portal, which closes behind them. Okay, we should be the last ones left! No sooner have the words left your mouth when the demons begin appearing. They begin to surround you, a pile of horns and evil eyes. You jump into the portal at the last second. You jump into the portal as it closes, and feel your feet touch solid ground. Good, good job, Mario, Moira says, stammering a bit. Hey, Mario says. I didn't think you were going to make it. What about Becca and the others? Becca's dead. And, while it's too depressing to think about, do you, do you want to take a break for a while? Yeah. You rest for a while in the Mario Brothers plumbing office. You both sit in the office, which has a small table and two chairs. Wario sits at the table, going through the gems while you take a seat beside him. Wario, do you have any idea how we're supposed to divvy this up? Give me a number, Wario says. What? A number. I want you to give me a number between 1 and 10, and I'll tell you how much that gem's worth. But just do it. You say, 7. 7 it is, then. Wario pockets the gem, and you <sighs> sigh in frustration. Why couldn't you have said 7, you say? Because you'd be a complete moron if you gave me a number between 1 and 10, idiot. You sigh defeatedly, knowing that you will never understand Wario's thaw process. Fine, you say. Do you have any more gems? Yeah, that's all I got. Great. Come on, I'll take you back home. You get up and begin heading back to the Mushroom Kingdom, where Moira awaits. You say, I'm sorry, Moira. It must be hard to learn that your friend died, and that an evil demon was pretending to be her all this time. Yeah, Becca was my first friend out of my entire life. I was pretty attached to her. 
Well, I'm sorry you had to find out like this. Moira says nothing in response. You continue walking back to the kingdom, whereupon you return to Castle Ouroboros. You head down to the lobby. You wait in the Castle Ouroboros lobby, which resembles more of a library than a hotel lobby. Eventually, Wario steps out from one of the rooms. Hey, where's Moira? He asks. You say, She must still be mourning the death of her best friend. Since when do you know anything about being a girl? I know enough to know that Moira probably isn't in the mood to talk right now. Wario shrugs and heads off to another part of the room. You see Tim and Becca's boyfriend talking to each other. Hey, you say. Oh, there you are, he says. I was wondering if you and Wario had fallen off the face of the earth. What the hell happened, you guys? Are you okay? You say, you'll never believe it. Becca was a demon all along. Um, okay. I'll give you ten seconds. You quickly explain your story to him, which he seems quite shocked by. Most people are pretty surprised by it. You say, shocking, right? All the rumors of Castle Ouroboros being a place for demons must have been because of Becca. Indeed. So, I just saved the world from demons. I'm quite famous now. I suppose you've gotten a bit of an ego from all this. What? Come on, I'm not even sure what I did myself. Yeah, yeah, you saved the world from demons. But you know what? That doesn't necessarily make you cool. I mean, all you've done is save it from one evil machinator. You didn't even save the world from demons in general. You just saved the world from one demon who was masquerading as a human. In fact, I don't even think that would qualify you as a hero. I mean, the fact that you didn't even know that she was a demon in the first place is pretty telling. You stare at Tim blankly. What is he talking about? You say, Wait a minute. You two knew she was a demon this whole time, didn't you? Tim nods. Yeah, and what's worse is that we were indirectly helping her all this time. You were helping Becca? Well, yeah. We were helping King Koopa in our own way. Timmy, do you remember when Becca first came to school? Yeah. She said that she was a new transfer that just moved to the area. We were supposed to help her feel at home. Well, that's pretty much what we did. We're the ones who really put her up to it. You say, I can't believe I didn't realize earlier. You two aren't ordinary hotel guests. You're Tim and Timmy, sons of King Koopa. They nod. Yeah, we're Bowser's boys. Only he doesn't know that we're making our own bid for rulership. You say, I see. But your plan sprung a leak now that you can't summon an army of demons here to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, but we have another plan. What? We're going to kill King Koopa! You are? Why would you do that? Well... He sort of took away our chance for immortality when he decided to marry Princess Toadstool. You say, What are you? Don't say you're surprised. He did this to us. He knew we wanted to rule over this kingdom, and when he married her, there was no longer any reason for him to give that up. But he's your father. Yeah, and? You can't just kill your father. Why not? He killed our chance at ruling the kingdom. You say, You two are even more evil than Koopa. I won't let you get away with this. Ew, someone's a good little soldier. We'll just put you in one of the cells in the crypt for safekeeping. Oh, and while we're at it, why don't we just kill Koopa? Wouldn't that solve all problems? You attack Tim and Timmy. You rush at the two of them, but they begin to cast a force shield. You try to ram through, 
but then you are repelled backwards by the energy. You call to your friends for help. Hey, paisanos! Luigi, Moira, and Wario all come running towards you. You quickly tell them to attack the brothers, while you run forward and confront Tim. He doesn't even try to dodge. He just grabs onto you and screams in your face. You say, At this rate, your breath is gonna kill me. Shut up! My father made a deal with you people. He gave us the gift of immortality in exchange for our servitude. And what have we received for our troubles? A bunch of snot-nosed ingrates that don't appreciate what's good. You poke him in the eyes. You push your fingers into both of his eyes, and he screams before collapsing. Moira and Wario both kick at him, but he doesn't resist. He just lays there sobbing. <laughs> you happy now, fat kid? You turn your attention to the other brother. You turn around just in time to dodge his attack. He charges up his magic attack, but you knock the wand out of his hand and tackle him. The two of you roll on the floor with your hands around each other's throats. Dude! He's strangling the living daylights out of him! You immediately let go and back away. The brother, meanwhile, lays on the floor, gasping for air. Ah, uh, I can't breathe! He crawls over to his brother and begins to rub his back. Tim, why'd you have to be so mean to me? I tried to be nice. I don't want to die. I'm going to miss the soccer game on Friday. You cover your mouth in shock as you try not to laugh. You lock the two Koopa brothers in a closet. You grab the two Koopa brothers and force them into a small closet, locking the door. You then give them a double shot of Jolt Cola, because what does seem to work against these guys is the 2-4 punch of sugar and caffeine. You say, That ought to take care of those two for a while. You're not seriously planning on leaving them in there, are you? Why the hell not? It's a closet. Are you sure about that? You shrug. I've seen weirder things in nature. Luigi nods. Ha 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 